The action is fast and furious on the hard waters of Chameau Bay in New York State during the month of February. Two effective techniques are knowing the proper use of perch eyes on your jigs and also knowing when to downsize your bait to take advantage of a light bite. Down right here, Dave. This is a good fish right here. It's got a lot of weight coming here on the bottom. Oh, yeah, look at this perch right here. Look at this big old slab. Big old slab perch right there. And he's on a rainbow buckshot rattle spoon. That guy has got uh, a little fat head. And what we're going to do right here is we're going to show you something that everybody has been asking about. Let's get this. Um, we're going to get this perch off. We're going to show you the rig that we're using, and then we're going to make an that we're going to make an adjustment. Nice big, nice big perch right there coming on the bottom. It was a tick bite earlier, and uh, they were coming on the on the perch bugs that we normally that we normally use up off the bottom. Then when this next little pack of fish came through, all the bites have been on meat here on the bottom, but. We have all used spikes on the upper tick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to take a perch eye and how to do it correctly. So let's start by getting in right, right close on the side of this fish. We're actually going to wipe all the, all the ice off there so you can see. What you want to do is you want to depress your thumb right here. As I depress my thumb here on the eye, you can see it start to bulge. So you're going to push your thumb in here, and you're just, don't push hard, just ever so gently, you're going to roll that eye in this fashion. You don't want to pop the eye completely out. You want to get it right there where it's about 7 eighths of the way out. It's still connected by a little bit of cartilage. Now if I turn that sideways, if you look around the edge of this eye, you can see that that's all silver. That silver cartilage is tough and that's what you want the hook to go through. Because you want that eye to sit on your hook so that the glassy part with the pupil is looking out one side of the hook and looking out the other side. That's what makes it attractive to fish when they come in and bite that. So you're going to roll that up just like I have and then you're going to take your then you're going to take your 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 tick and you're going to run that hook I'm going to get it right here you're going to run it through the silver through the middle of it and then you're going to pop that eye well, of course of course you had to bump right there but you're going to pop that eye the rest of the way off so that that eye sits on the hook with that pupil looking to the side just like it is right now. Now when you dance that above the meat on the bottom what's going to transpire is if you watch that vexilar those fish are going to rise and they're going to come up off that. If they don't hit the meat, if they're active they're going to hit that fat head that's on the bottom or rosy red whatever you're using. But once once they come, come up and you get them up here off the bottom with this and they don't hit it now you drop that thing right straight down, you drop that bug down and the side of the eye is looking at that perch and believe me, when the bite's on hot, they absolutely cannot resist that. And they're going to whack that thing, and you're going to get a big tanker perch just like that last one. He came on the meat, but I guarantee you, the next bite on this rod is going to come on that eye on that tick. Let's get it back in the water. Hmm. Got a good one. Oh, there's a good one right here. Second. Let me pull this thing. He's gonna get into it. You got another one going, or you're in your line. Yeah, I'm into it. I don't know, this is a pretty good fish right here. Oh, yeah. A oh, real good perch, and he's into that other line. Look at the size of that striper in the hole, everybody, right there. Came on the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful Shimo Bay perch. This guy, he's into my he's into my white rod right here, which is okay. I'm just gonna reach down and get this guy. He hit on a tiny. Uh, Swedish pimple. This one's a this one's a number two. Normally, if you're wondering what size Swedish pimple to get, normally what we're running with with uh, hard water ice guides is is a number three. But you can see you can see here. I get this thing unhooked here for you. That's just a tiny little tiny little number two. 
And one of the other things that we do, good perch right there, one of the other things that we do is these Swedish pimples come with a treble hook. And you'll notice that we've rehooked it with that single. You've heard me talk about this in the videos before, but <clears throat> usually what happens is, especially when the bite's light, we'll put that fathead minnow on it, and that hook, see how I can just, it'll swing back and forth? Really easy. So a perch comes up, if he's biting light, he'll just come up and he'll nose that bait, and when he flares his gills, it's real easy for that hook to just pendulum right into his mouth. It just swings right into his mouth, engulfs it quick, boom, you're on the hook. Plus, it's easier to take that fish off, get wet again in the hole over the hot bite. So think about that too uh, when the bite's light. Downsize from a three Swedish pimple to a number two and rehook with a single hook so you got that pendulum effect underneath it. He can just flare his gill, suck that bait in, you get right hot again and get wet. Get another perch.